In this video, we're going to configure our Akismet plugin so that we can keep those spammers at bay. It's pretty simple, really, but we need to gather a couple of uh, things first. So, easy way to do that is we just simply click on the link that says, hey, we need to configure our Akismet. And we come on down here. You can read all about it. You can head on over to akismet.com. What I find to be better, though, is to get your key. Just click on this and enter your email address here and it's pretty straightforward you just enter your email there click on next choose a username let's go with something imaginative and of course you've read the Kismet terms of service click on next As you can see here you gotta confirm your email usually it's pretty quick that's pretty quick now let me open this up click on the link. What we're looking for is the API key. Here's our username. Here's the devil we're looking for right there. Now you might want to put this in your organizational folder. Just open up a text document inside that organizational folder that I talked about way back when and just put this in as your API key and that way you've got it stashed there because this one API key can be used to activate a Kismet on any number of blogs you've got. So that being said, we come on back here, head on back to our blog, go on back, go on back, put it right in here, like so. Go ahead and check that box there so that you don't have to worry about the spam any longer. Because after 30 days of a spam, what Akismet has been seen to be as spam, it will uh, be automatically discarded, tossed into the trash can. Click on Update Options, and that has gone away. Now we've got these two guys here to deal with. Now you are protected from the spam monsters, or leastways you are more protected from the spam monsters than you were a minute ago. And down here, just for some added info, you've got the Akismet servers here, and it says here that there are no problems and the last time that it checked. Never really seen one of these that had a problem, but I guess that they are there for a reason. I just haven't figured out what. So that's gonna bring us to the end of this quick little video on configuring your Akismet anti-spam plugin. Thank you very much for watching.